probably the best I've had in any park. They're yeah. really good. Yeah. Hello everybody, Indy Meets Disney here and we are at the Sci-Fi Dine-In today. Yep, so we are looking forward to having lunch here with our family and giving it a try during the daytime. So we've got wonderful food, we've been here lots of times, um, so we're looking forward to it again. Yeah, let's go in, check it out, we'll take you along on the journey and tell you um, how the food is. So we've been seated inside the Sci-Fi Drive-In Restaurant. Um, pretty cool environment here. What do you think? Yeah, so I love it because any time of day that you come, it's like nighttime here. Um, so it's like you're at the movies at nighttime, ready to watch the movies in your car with your family. So it's actually the middle of the day, lunchtime, but it's such a fun atmosphere watching the movies and stuff. What do you think? Yeah, I, I really enjoy it in here. Um, seated in your own little private car, got the old classic movies, old classic commercials showing up on the screen, yeah. um, that classic drive-in movie um, feel. Um, got some great food on its way and we're going to take you through each and every item, kind of give you a review of each one and um, look for a great meal. Yep, we do indeed. Alright, just want to give you a quick look of the menu here. See some milkshakes, some different appetizers. Let's look at some of the entrees as well that they have. First stop at the Sci Fi restaurant. It's going to be this cookies and cream shake. And I wasn't going to order one, but then our cousins ordered one, and I had to get one too, and it looks delightful. They do, I believe it is $8 one of these shakes, but $7 for one of these shakes. Yum. Okay, I have been enjoying my Oreo cookies and cream shake, and it is a really great treat. Um, it's nicely filled with Oreos. Um, it's a very thick shake though, so it was really hard at first to get it like sucked up the straw. Once it got started, you just can't stop. So I um, definitely recommend getting a shake here. They've got a few different flavors, so I would recommend getting this good using cream shake. It's a good one. All right, we have received our entrees, and I went with the drive-in barbecue burger. So it is a beef uh, hamburger, and it has house-made seasoning, and it's served on a brioche bun, topped with nine-hour smoked pork, bourbon, bacon jam, cheddar, lettuce, and barbecue sauce. So this looks fantastic. And it comes with french fries, but I upgraded it to onion rings, and these look great as well. I also asked for a side of signature sauce. Um, this normally just comes with the onion ring appetizers, but I asked for if I could have a side of it, and they accommodated it, so I'm excited about that. It's kind of a horseradish um, type sauce, so this looks great. And I ordered the buffalo chicken salad, so it's $16, and it has fried chicken strips um, that have been tossed in spicy buffalo sauce. It's got those mixed greens in the bottom, bacon, tomato, red onion, cucumber, shredded cheddar cheese, and fried tortilla strips, and it comes tossed in a cilantro ranch dressing. So the waitress said this is one of her favorite things in the menu, so I can't wait to give it a try and report back how yummy it is. All right, so let's talk about our food a little bit. What do you think? So my salad is very good. So I think a good salad, in my opinion, has like lots of toppings on it. It has a little bit of texture in it. Um, so like the salad has a lot of like crispiness from the onions, from this, um, I almost said zucchini, but they're cucumber, but they're cut in like strips, so it makes them a nice like crunch of cucumber, um, the crunch of the bacon. The chicken is good. It is spicy though, um, so my mouth is a little bit on fire right now. At first I was like, oh, this isn't too bad, but the more I eat the buffalo chicken, the more I'm like, okay, it is pretty pretty spicy. I um, still need a couple of drinks to go with it. Um, but the chicken is fried chicken, um, but it's not like overly breaded. Um, so I think that makes it feel like even a little bit like, like not super heavy of a dish for this time of day. We're eating at lunchtime. 
Um, so I, I would really recommend this. It's a really good dish, um, a great salad, and yeah, it's not too like overpowering and dressing or anything either. So it's great. Good. How about yours? Yeah, I really am enjoying mine. The burger is cooked really well. Um, I like the, the pork on top of it. The pork is uh, nice, has a nice barbecue flavor to it. Um, the only thing I don't really like, and I would probably not order next time on it, is the lettuce. The lettuce is kind of weird with the barbecue and with the beef. Um, so I would probably ask for no lettuce next time when I uh, got it. Um, the onion rings are really great. They're crispy. They're great in that uh, special sauce that they have. Um, so that's a win. Definitely worth the upgrade and get those onion rings. Um, so it's a great meal. Good. I'm really happy with what I got. Are you going to share any onion rings with me? Uh, maybe, if you're lucky. <laughs> I'll share some of my salad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far it's been a double win instead of our book. It's been good. Yeah. Really good. All right, Miss Grace, tell us what you got at Sci-Fi and if you liked it or not. I got the kids meal, I got the meat skewers, and I got the sides of mashed potatoes and pork And I like the meat skewers, they were really juicy and stuff. And the mashed potatoes were chunky, and the corn cob was good too. I liked it all in all, and I would go back again and get it. All right, Chris and Travis, tell us what you guys got and tell us if you guys liked it or not from Sci-Fi. Well, we both had the uh, the featured burger, which was a uh, pulled pork sandwich with uh, pork belly uh, and Dijon mustard on a brioche bun. And I had the onion rings and Chris had the french fries. And we both thought it was real good. Um, you know, it wasn't anything extra special. The, uh, the, the pork belly was awesome. The sandwich was, you know, the bread was a little dry. Dijon mustard is a little bitey, but it's kind of sweet. It's real good. Uh, onion rings, probably the best I've had in any park. They're really good. Yeah, I love the fries. They were crispy, salty. They were absolutely fabulous. Big steak fries. So yeah. those were good. I'd definitely get it again. I'd, I'd rate it about a, about a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. I'd probably rate the sandwich about a 6 out of 10, but the fries, 10 out of 10. They were awesome. Onion rings, 10 out of 10, yeah. Awesome. That's good as you get. Yep, we love sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, it's right. good. Great Definitely episode. go back to sci-fi. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for our time here at Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater Restaurant. What would you think? Yep, great atmosphere. Super fun watching all those movies. I'll be honest and say they're the same movies they play every single time, but they always like make us chuckle because they're so dramatic yeah. and over the top. Um, the food has been really good. Um, most of the times that we've come, I really enjoyed my meal today. It was great. The milkshake was great. Um, and our company was really great too. So it's just fun times. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a burger per person or fries person, onion rings person, this is the perfect place to come. Um, they don't have a lot of like other type of entrees. Um, but if you're into that type of food, this is a great place to come. It's a nice atmosphere, sitting in those cars, watching the movies. Um, it's a great place. Come check it out. Um, food is, like Katie was saying, usually pretty good. Um, we had a great time. Yeah. Um, just being here with family, too, has made it a lot more fun. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah, so go ahead and like, take a moment, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and become part of our YouTube family. And until next time, we will see, see you real soon. soon. Bye.